Now, a successful Jamaican sprint coach, Stephen Francis, believes it is highly unlikely that any global athletic stars will run the risk of reputational damage by competing in the controversial Enhanced Games in December of 2024. The possibility of reputational damage will weigh heavily on any athlete who might be considering to compete at the No Drug Testing Enhanced Games next year, according to renowned Jamaican track and field coach Stephen Francis. The man who conditioned Shelley and Fraser Price and Elaine Thompson Hira to the last four Olympic and four of the last six World Championships 100 meters titles says the risk outweighs the rewards. I don't think there's going to be any worry about that particular games because one, I don't think any of the current athletes are going to take a risk that they compete and when they get tested, they do the blood test and so on, they then find traces of this, which was around six months ago. One and two, I don't think the money is going to be big enough to, to encourage people, entice people to cross over to, to, the, to, the, to the drug user side. And even with president of the announced games, Aaron de Sosa, claiming he's had inquiries from Olympic and world champions across sporting disciplines, he declined to name athletes. Uh, well, unfortunately, uh, you know, until uh, they are signed and papered, uh, we would not be disclosing their names. That would be uh, a breach of the confidence and the trust that they put us into. Uh, but I can do tell you that there are plenty of Brits, plenty of Americans. I don't know if we have any Jamaicans yet, but uh, we will certainly be in touch as soon as uh, we have one of them confirmed. The risk of using performance enhancing drugs aside, Coach Francis says that clean athletes will usually come out on top against drug cheats. Those people, people who do take drugs, I don't think it makes a difference. I, I mean, I, put this way, it does not put them on top of the sport, I, I don't think. Right? I think you, if, if you are an 11-4 girl or a 10-4 guy, you can use drugs and you'll get a 10 flat, maybe 9-9 nine, nine or 10-9, but that's still not going to put you at the top of the sport, right? Um, so I've learned a long, long time ago not to be fearful that people may or may not use drugs. Because back in the early days, so for example, the women's 100 would always be one in 10-9 and that kind of stuff. No, 10, 6 and 10, 7 is all out of the day and you have to do a lot more than take drugs to run that fast. Keon Reina reporting for TVJ Sports.